everybody. Happy Saturday. This is Miranda from Diamond Painting with the Besties. I hope everyone is having a great day and a fabulous first part of their weekend. So today we're going to do something a little different. I'm uh, taking this opportunity because it's nice and quiet in my house right now. Everybody's napping, including the dogs. Uh, the new setup seems to be working okay. So keep in mind that the dogs could bark or you'd hear their nails on the floor. Hopefully that won't be too distracting. So for today's video, um, creators were challenged by Jeremy over at Jeremy JTMJ Crafts over on YouTube to do a diamond painting pen stash challenge. You know, most of us are used to seeing, um, doing unboxings or reviews. And this is just a, something to challenge us to get some different content on there and to share. I thought it was a great idea um, because I like to see everybody's different pen stashes and it kind of, you can tell based off per people's personalities from what I've observed so far, what kind of pens they like. So, so far, you know, it's true. It's been true in my personal opinion. So the first thing I wanted to do was um, show you what I keep my pens in. And my daughter Gina got this for me for Christmas and I absolutely love it. Um, actually, um, Stephanie from Drills Are Girls Best Friend, she actually is the one that sent me the link. So this is an actual pen box. It's um, A lot of people have asked me if it's a cigar holder, um, even though it might look like a humidor, it, it's not. So it's got three, three, uh, two drawers and a top. So I'll just show you real quick opens up and holds one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven this way. And here's the second. And yes, there are spaces in between and I will get to that. And do this a little. So, and then this part lifts up like this and it does have, it's plastic on the top. So um, it's safe. And as you can tell, I am in need of another one. I was going to do this video a little earlier. I was kind of waiting on some more pens to come in, but my time is running out. So I figured I better get this done. So let's get into it. If I happen to look away, it's because I had to write down notes so I could remember everything. So I'm gonna start at the bottom. I like to group my pens as much as possible with like the stores I get them from. So, um, that's how, how I do. So we're going to start at the bottom. So this very first one that I got was from, turn my notes, excuse me, Diamond Art Supply. Diamond Art Supply is over on Etsy. So I have just started this craft back in April and everything. And Brad is the one that told me that there are better pens out there. So I got on Etsy and I looked and this is my very first non-standard pen that came with a kit. So it's just, you know, a, a dark gray glitter with a straightener on it. And it's great. And it worked great. Um, these next one, unfortunately, there are two pens that I cannot find. And I know they're somewhere in my diamond painting stash, hoard, whatever you want to call it. But um, these next three, and I actually have another Halloween one that I can't find, are from Queso Crafty Designs over on Etsy as well. Um, I have a little white one with pumpkins and stuff and I used it all October. Um, this one's actually one I had gotten for Bella, but I just keep it in here. It comes with a thicker multi-placers on the top. I won this one from the one of the Drills and Chills giveaway. So it's a cute little Halloween one. I love it. And she does all, you know, she makes these all herself. And then this was a Christmas one that I that I had gotten that I really, really liked. So and I really like her pens. I like them. A little, I don't like them too thin, too thick. And so this one I got from KNS Custom Design uh Diamond Painting Pens, DP Pens, and they, she, this is also over on Etsy. And Bella has one, Brad has one, and I have one. And this is Golden, it's got the Golden Girls on here. We absolutely love the Golden Girls. Super, super cool. Now the next, um, Brad got these for me and I cannot remember 
the name of the company. I searched everywhere and I can't find it. And there's another one that I have. This one is actually Bella's, but I have one that Brad had gotten and I, it's one of the ones I also cannot find. Um, these are great. Brad had an issue with some of his pens breaking. So this has got that flat, no roll, that no roll. So it's lays flat on your thing. And Brad got this one for Bella because it is her uh, swim team colors uh, for her TNT, the green and the blue. And, uh, you know, this, these work great too. These next two, Brad also got for, for Bella and I, and they're from uh, Diamond Art Club. I actually haven't used these ones yet, but they're, they're pretty and they have like glitter and stuff in them. <clears throat> All right, next. So this one, forgot to look this one up. Um, I know he has an ins uh, uh, Etsy, but he's also on Facebook. It's uh, Black wo Wolf Wood Turning, I believe. And I was able to get one of this and it's got, it's like a sleigh bells or a Christmas themed one. It's got the blue, er, blue, ugh, red and green and white in it. I really, really like it. Um, it it's, a, it's a little bit cumbersome for me just because my hands are small. Um, this is really the only one that I have from him just because uh, prior to me getting my new job, um, <clears throat> the when he had his drops, I was never home in time from work. So I w by the time I got home, I was it was all sold out. <clears throat> this one right here is very, very thick. It's, and it's, it's absolutely gorgeous. This is from Bristow Blanks. And it's got floral and pine cone inside of it. And this gorgeous blue and I think it's stunning it's just when I saw this absolutely breathtaking I'm just a little disappointed because it is so hard for me to hold on to um so I heard I've only used it for a little bit this one right here is from follow the grain he is over on Etsy this one is a uh, made from tambuti wood. And it's absolutely gorgeous and stunning. However, this one is a, a little too thin and I'm trying to get used to it, but I still, I just hold on to it because it's just gorgeous. The design of it, the wood and everything. And it's got this ginormous straightener on the other side, which comes in very, very handy. So I just keep it sitting in my collection. I'd actually gotten Brad one made out of a wood from Jerusalem. All right, this one right here is from TJ Customs and this is over on Facebook. And this is also a Christmas themed one. Maybe this one was called Sleigh Bells, I don't know, but I like it a lot. Um, I actually, you know, I won it because they have the, you know, their auctions on Facebook. So I was lucky enough to win the opportunity to purchase it. Puts the uh, the little thin multi plagers on, which are my favorite. They work great. And this is all wood. Uh, these next one, two, three, four, five, six are from Jim's Handmade Pen Shop over on Etsy. So this first one is one of my favorites. It is a blue teal red and coral reef aluminite. He also uses the thinner, thinner multiplayer. And you get to, what I like about him is there's options of what size we want a three or a six placer and everything. But this coral color and the blues is just so pretty. And I got this one, you know, I got them really, really quick. It's a perfect, you know, thickness for my hand and everything. And he's actually really, really nice, really, really nice person. Um, he has a huge selection, so it's almost like super hard for, to pick which ones you want. So I ha do have a lot favorited. This next one is an African Blackwood. Now, if you guys have been following Brad and I either on Instagram or on here. You'll know that we are super bougie. We like to match our pens, our washi tape, everything with the theme of our canvas, even down to the wax of what we would think the season would be and to include our matching little tins. So yeah, we extra, it's cool. 
I'm not, I'm not ashamed to admit it. That's just how we are. It just, it's that whole like self care, like organized and everything. Just love it. So I really like this one. I got this to go with all of my uh, Black Panther and uh, themed art I have, especially because I do have that one canvas from Medusa the Dollmaker from DIY Moon Shop that I'm definitely be using this one, but it's just so pretty and shiny. That one. Then, oh, hybrids are my absolute favorite. I don't know why, I just love the contrast. So this one right here is a blue glitter um, sparkle. It's pretty blue in with this gorgeous wood. It just flows right into it. And then um, I have one of my curved tips from Lexi Lilycraft. And I really like these and they actually help. I have a couple more, I just haven't put them on my pens yet, but um, these are absolutely great. Then, what do I have next? Oh, I've got this, this one. No, is it? No, that's a hybrid. This one is a, a blue, black, mint, white, uh, woodland snow. And this was, a, I guess, a polyester material. That's what the description had said when I wrote it down. But I really liked this one, too. It's just, I like a lot of, like, I'm trying to come out of my, you know, comfort zone. You know, my whole 2021 resolution, get some some things that might be out of the box. But as you can tell, I do like the darker colors, lots of blues and greens and blacks. This other one right here is another hybrid. And it's a forest green, white sparkle swirl with the wood. This one's got the thicker one, but I, I'll change that out. I don't know what, I just struggle trying to get uh, my drills in it. In like they always pop all over the place. So there's that one. Next we have that's all in that one. All right, the these um and you'll be able to tell by the uh, when I open up this top what my favorite. These are all from two shops right here. So I'm gonna start out with this one. This is my very, very first one I, that I got from Lazy River Wood Turning. And I don't know if this one is called Mint Reverie. I try to write them down to see if I can remember, but um, I think this is what this is. And this was my very first one. And I, I love it. Matt over at Lazy River, like they're all, they come in, he does different styles. And so they're not all the same. It's like whatever creatively he comes to, you know, comes to his mind. But this was my very first one. Once again, this got, you know, mints and blues and stuff in it. This one right here is called Lemon Drop. Also, I call it Lemon Cello because that's what it reminds me of. I'm definitely going to use this one if I do when I do my Geneva Bowers the Warrior. But this is a hybrid. It's just this wood that he that was chosen um looks great with this this yellow and it's bright and it just looks like such a refreshing pen. But I haven't used this one yet. And I love Matt also will uses a four placer and the really thin multi-placing tips and I love it. This one right here it's called Neon, and it's a, a you know this uh, fluorescent pink, fluorescent yellow with this white swirl all the way through it. It's great. This one, oh, which one is it? All right, I'm probably gonna mix these up. This one I believe is called. So yeah, this is Stormy Seas. It's either Stormy Seas or Satellite, but I'm pretty sure this is Stormy Seas. I got, I wanted this one really, really badly because um, if this is the, uh, I'm pretty sure, yeah, this is Stormy Seas because I was in the Navy for 20 years and just the title itself reminded me of when I was on the ship. And I have used this one before. They, they're great. Hey, if anybody has any tips on uh, how do I get all this wax out of my tip, let me know below, please. <clears throat> so this one right here is Satellite. 
And I know they're kind of similar, but this one has a lot of green in it. So blue, white, and green. And I love like all the detail like right here. <clears throat> These are my newest two that I just got from this latest drop. This one is called Foxfire. And I just loved all the uh, different colors. It's like a different take on like a rainbow kind of. It just is really, really pretty. There's like orange at the top and then some down at the here. And then there's purples and black. It's green. It's really, really pretty. Now this one is a little thinner than um, I'm used to for the rest of his pens, but it's still pretty and I still love it. So no, nobody can have it. Hello, I just kidding. This one right here is my favorite out of all of them. This is Dolly. And Stephanie, um, Matt's wife, informed me, or it was Matt that told me, or he told her, or she, he told her, or vice versa, or whatever, that the day of the drop was the actual uh, anniversary of Dolly's death. So how, how uh, ironic is that? But it's just this, these greens mixed in with the wood. This is a hybrid. And it's just like jaw-dropping. It's my favorite one from uh, Lazy River Wood Turning right here. Uh, he has a Instagram page and all of these different um, places I've purchased my friends from, I will put their um, information and links down in the description in this video. So don't worry. Now, last is my, you know, these two are, these are my top two favorite companies if you can't tell. This one is Turning a Dream. Turning a Dream is over on Etsy. And the cool thing I like about them is that, um, oh, let me back up. Laser River Wood Turning. So follow him on Instagram. Sign up for his newsletters. He always has something up his sleeve, whether it's a surprise drop or, you know, he posts, always does like little um, previews for the next coming drops. So that's where you're going to get all your information. And let me tell you, you better either know somebody who's quick or be quick yourself because um, they go fast. This last drop, he had 30 pens and they were gone in four minutes. So, oh, you always get like, they're wrapped in such care and you always get like a personalized note and makes you feel special. It's great. I just wanted to add that in there. Oh, before I forget, I forgot to add this one. So this one is only a multi-placer. Um, this is from KRZ Diamond Art. Um, I guess this was something, I don't know where she's at anymore or not, but um, it's wood, it's pretty. It has like a little crystal at the end. But honestly, even though it's pretty, for me, it's not um, practical at all. So I've only used it a little bit. Um, it has a two-placer at the end. So if anybody wants this one, it's free to a good home. Drop me a comment, first person to comment that wants it, I'll send it to them. All right, now into the last one. So this is the very first one that I got from, oh, let me back up. So Turning a Dream, they are on Etsy. They sell blanks, different types of blanks. Ones for diamond painting, um, different type of things around the house, uh, regular fountain pens or ballpoint pens, like fancy ones they get made. So this one, I forgot the name. It's a Christmas theme one, I know that, but for the life of me, I can't remember. And I've used it quite a bit. It is a little thicker than I'm used to, so I have a hard time with it, but look at all that. Look at those gorgeous colors mixed in with the red. They are super nice. They're out of Oregon, um, super helpful, because I am super indecisive and their selections are to die for. So they're a really great team. Uh, husband and wife team and they definitely will help you out with um, any indecisiveness that you might have. Another great thing I like is that they do not invoice you until after um, your pens are made and they show them to you to see if you like them or not and then then they send you pictures 
you know, and they ask what shape you want and all that. And once you say, yeah, these are great, then they invoice you. Super quick. Love it. This one right here is, goodness grief, Jewel. Jewel. And it is just like a opal, purple, kind of a mothery, pearly, with some blacks and grays swirled through aluminite. They do use um, kind of a thicker multi-placer, but they do they, uh, switch up the sizes that they put on there. So you never know what you're going to get. So I really, I haven't used this one yet, but it's really, really pretty. It's very kind of like mystical looking to me. This one right here is just a, forgot the name of it, but it's a uh, hybrid with blues. God, I can't remember the name of it. It's going to come to me afterwards, but. Oh, I think it's like space, something to do with space or orbit or everything, but, or universe, something along those lines. But see how this got greens and purples with the black and hybrid multi-placer. I think there's a six placer on here. This one right here. Oh, I can't remember the name of this either, but it's uh, something nautical. I can't remember, but it's this one so far is my favorite. My favorite, favorite one. Hybrid, of course, with the sea of the blue, green, white in it. And I actually put my everlasting tips on this one. Um, I have other ones. I'm deciding which ones are I'm going to put everlasting tips on. Again, I think Dolly is going to be that one, but we'll see. So... It appears that this is everything, right? Well, everything I have in my possession. Well, I do have a little surprise. Since I knew I was going to be doing this challenge, I saved a package of pens. So let's see what it is. These are, these are from uh, Turning a Dream. And don't let the packaging fool you because they come just... In amazing condition, amazing condition. So not all everything I'm going to be able to show you because there is something in here for Brad for his bestie Valentine's Day box. So right here, they included their business card, turning a dream. But like I said, I will put, oh God, the glare. I will put all their information below for you. And here's my invoice. So in this one, I ordered one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five, but only four for me. And this is padded envelope, so they come nice and safe and secure. All right, this one, see, I like, I asked them to put the names on it for me, um, so that way I can remember. This one right here is called Italy, and it's just so, so pretty, and they wrapped it really, really well. Throw this down here. Red, white, and green. I'm Italian, so I'm big on anything red, white, and green to represent the flag. But just the way this, uh, and they pour, they pour all of their own blanks, too. Well, two, three place or two place are on here. Look at that. Isn't that gorgeous? It looks like a piece of candy. Obviously, I'm going to have to rearrange. For right now, I'm going to stick that right up there. I'm going to save this one for last. This next one I got is called Grapefruit. And I went back and forth and back and forth on this one just because, like, I'm obviously trying to expand. And it just looked different, but it was a hybrid. So I was just, like, dying. I was like, oh, my God, I need this hybrid. Like, I need it. Oh, my God, look at that. So it's not super bright pink, but there's, like, some orange through it. Look at that wood. There's like orange and pink and a little bit of like a yellow. Ooh, look right up there, yellow and everything. It's so beautiful. 
And it's medium, you know, it's not a little thick down here. That's all right though. So, oh, it looks better when I hold it this way. All right, this one, this one's for Brad, so we're not opening it. I'm gonna put that over here. That's gonna go in his little bestie um, birthday, little bestie birthday um, care package. You know, I'm gonna send him, you know, he's plugging away at nursing school right now. This one is called Dream, it's from, they have a, a collection called Dream Fusion, and they have a bunch of different ones on there, and this is called Witchy. Look at that, green and purple, and look at this huge straightener. So they really like mix it up for you and don't put the same thing on here. Isn't that gorgeous? Oh, oh my goodness. Like this is literally, like we're seeing this together. All that purple and, oh my God, so pretty. These are great. Now, this last one is like super special to me. So I am from New York originally, I'm Italian. And I've been looking forever. Um, I've asked other people if they would be able to do a custom for me and they wanna charge outlandish fees. Let me tell you, um, turning a dream, if you want a custom pour, pour, pour like you want a custom pen, their pens are the same price, 25 for uh, standard um, and 30 for your hybrids and then just $5 extra if you want a custom pour. So they went ahead and was able to make me a New York Yankees and I um, left it up to basically the artist. Like I didn't wanna, you know, I said, look, these are the colors. Um, so I'm gonna let you, you know, decide and everything, I totally trust you because I've said purchased from them before. Um, and you know, the pictures don't ever do it justice. So I just like, it looked really good in the picture. So usually if it looks good in the picture, it looks even better in person. If I can ever get into my tissue paper. Oh my God. Look at that. Look at the sparkle in there. The gray, look down here, there's gray and white. There's some black, like navy blue through this. There's gray up here. So this is my New York Yankees themed one. I'm gonna have to look at this up closer without this light on it, but you guys. My little tribute pen when I think of you know the captain and Girardi, Posada, all the ones, Chuck Knobloch, all them old school ones. The new ones, it's hard to keep track of. You know, I like my old Yankees and everything, you know, back when Joe Torre was uh the manager, but we're not gonna go there. This is my New York Yankees custom diamond painting pen. Thank you guys so much. Well, as you can see. I have a problem, that's okay. And I have more on the way. I think I've got one, two, three. Just one, two, do I? One, two, no, I think I just have, no, three. I have three more. And basically, that's gonna be it for a while. I'm gonna have to go ahead and order a new one of these because clearly I'm out of room. Maybe I'll have to take my other ones, put them someplace else. But, Let's do, let's count real quick. So let's see, I got four. So we'll do three, I'll count this one. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Oh, let's do one, two, three, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22. 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 30, 34. I have 34 pens. Well, 36 if you want to count the ones I can't find at the present moment, which I know they somewhere. So anyway, once again, thank you for joining me on my, uh, watching my little diamond painting pen challenge. And thank you for putting me up to that challenge Jeremy um I hope you guys have a great rest of your weekend stay safe be kind 
enjoy. Stay warm if you're cold. Um, and I wish you good, you know, I hope everything goes good for you guys and have a great start to your week next week. Bye. Thank you.